Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. My name's Jackson and in this video we're going to be talking about the metaverse. <laughs> this is this is still something I'm figuring out. Like when I do videos like this, they sort of come to me in like these incomplete like images and it's like I'm sort of trying to translate this feeling or this picture that I've got into words and it's like it's not always clear and it's sometimes like sort of vague, but like hopefully it hopefully you can catch like a little like an inkling of like what I'm trying, the picture that I'm trying to paint here. The metaverse at the moment, if you've been paying attention to what's been going on over like last year or so, it's like this sort of weird, awkward, <laughs> like dystopian sort of space of like, you know, you're going to, the, the, the mainstream sort of understanding about it. Oh, well, it depends. Like there's, there's different mainstreams, you know, but like, the fears that some people have around it is that you're going to be like strapped into a VR headset and you're just going to be living life in the metaverse and it's not going to be real life and like <laughs> it's going to be like a shadow of real life but you know that's all you're going to be able to do in like this weird sort of image and if you look at it now it's like this sort of weird space where it's like there's a lot of money to be made and there's a lot of really trashy low quality soulless filth <laughs> that's being made under the the brand of the metaverse you know because it's like a buzzword and it's like if you can capitalize on the metaverse it's like that's the thing that people do to make money at the moment and it's like all sort of disgusting shit is made and then branded metaverse just because it makes cash but that's that's not really what the metaverse is and I guess what I'm tr what I'm about to try and explain is what what is well what is it what is it what is the actual metaverse? What I think it is, and this is me sort of stepping out on a limb, right? Like this is this sounds like mad talk. Is it's human beings? grasping the ability to make their imagina imagination a physical reality <laughs> or a digital reality, you know, but like the thing about digital and physical, it's like our idea of digital realities in headsets and things, you know, like VR headsets, it's like you're in the metaverse, right? And it's like, you're looking around, but it's not really physical because it's just sight. It's, it's not going to be like that forever, right? Like, that's that's the trend that I see and what I'm trying to convey in this video. It's like, <laughs> the metaverse isn't just VR headsets, dude. Like, the metaverse is, like, literally the human ability to take a reality that you see in your imagination, like, a world, like, complete with fucking... Like, if it's a natural world, like, with landscapes and entities... And, like, machines and, like, feelings and sensations, like, all of that. And, like, literally make it a physical reality with technology. So, it's like you've got VR headsets where you're seeing this, this reality inside your headset, which was created inside of somebody's mind, right? It's like somebody, somebody saw that and then with the power of technology and, you know, their skills as a game dev and all of that, which I'll get into... They've managed to manifest that image into a fucking physical reality. And it's like, you can experience that reality with the aid of a headset, with haptic fucking feedback where you feel things on your body, like, maybe you'll be able to smell things and taste things and... What I think, it's gonna, what I think is going to happen is that the metaverse, this weird thing that's sort of just VR at the moment and like, you know, it's a bunch of other things and all of that. What I think is going to happen is it's literally going to be indistinguishable from reality. And if you really think about that, what that means is that you as a game developer, <laughs> right, <laughs> you're literally going to have the power to make realities, like no different to this. 
right? Like, like I'm not going to go into fucking like saying this is a fucking simulation or whatever because it's it's not important. But it's like, if it was, you wouldn't know, right? Like, there's there's no way for you to know. Like, it's just it's here and it's real and like this is all there is and and it's like if <laughs> you as you as a game developer, it's like. As technology gets more powerful, and as we go down the road of AI, and just just tech, and programming, and game engines, and virtual world design, and interactive art, and all of this, it's like, as you're developing, you're developing yourself as a game developer, a world designer, a experience creator, and all of that, <laughs> the power you're developing, it isn't, it isn't limited to a fucking computer or a console or a screen it's like literally the ability that you're honing and what you're developing is the ability to make your imagination manifest in physical reality <laughs> through technology <laughs> so like understand like this is not a fucking <laughs> this is no small thing right like and <laughs> It's especially the case when you look at how fucking, how, qu I was going to say how quickly we're moving with technology, you know? It's, because <laughs> it is moving pretty quick and it's like, you don't know where it's going to lead and you don't know what, <laughs> what it really means at this point. Like you can't see what it really means at this point, but that's the trend. The trend at the moment is that you as a game developer learning how to use technology and learning how to use your imagination, the combination of all of those skills could be labeled as something like developing the power to manifest your imagination in physical reality such that it's no different to, to this. <laughs> Fuck mad, isn't it? It's mad. So I don't really have like a practical thing for you to take away from this apart from just maybe your mindset shift of like a different way that you can look at what you're doing when you're game developing it's not they're not games <laughs> they're not games well they are games if you regard this as a game which i guess you could like real life is a game sort of <laughs> you take it as a serious game sometimes but maybe you don't have to but <laughs> So game development and game design, it's not game development and game design, it's experience development and experience design. It's world creation, it's world design, it's um, it's creation of reality. It's the, the metaverse is parallel realities, right? Like, it's like you dive into a metaverse and you experience that world through whatever interface that world has allowed you to experience it through. So, you know, in, in the case of our reality, like this, this world, like physical reality, like real life, we experience through touch, through sound, through sight, you know, our five senses or whatever. When you go into these realities created by technology, metaverses, like you just, you experience a game, you experience a world through whatever mechanics <laughs> they've designed. And it's not limited to tapping away on a keyboard and moving a mouse, it's you're seeing, you're seeing through like, you know, VR and you're fucking, you feel things like haptic feedback and like hear things. And the extent to which you can become immersed in that, it's, it's only limited by technology and I guess your, your skill as a, as an artist, because if you design a good so uh, technology, it's obvious because with technology, you know, it's like you've literally got the technology to see high definition graphics, to feel high definition touch sensations and to hear sounds and things like that. So technology is obviously a, a gate to how immersed you can be. But it's also, it's also, it also comes down to how immersive you can make games with this, right? Like your screens. It's like immersion isn't necessarily tied to technology because a good game designer a good experience designer knows the right things to do to get a person to feel the way that the designer has intended because they're in touch with their 
own emotions and their own experiences and they know they know the right trigger points to press in order to create an experience which feels real and immersive so that's what we're doing <laughs> that's what we're doing as game designers game designers world designers creators of literal parallel realities that's the metaverse it's infinite parallel realities every single person who has the ability to think and imagine with the aid of AI and technology will be able to create their own physical reality <laughs> and I don't want you to get hung up on the idea of physical thinking that it's like you know here because it's like the sensation of physicality can be facilitated through technology <laughs> fucking mad isn't it it's mad so anyway I think I might stop that is there anything else that I need to say the metaverse well what could you do from here on I guess just be conscious of the trend right be conscious of where this is headed and be conscious of the ways that you could use it to your advantage to create good helpful, nurturing, creative, inspiring, beautiful, positive realities. Because it's like the technology is going to go that way, like whether you, whether you like it or not, right? And it's like some shit's going to get created and it's going to be very real and it's going to be everywhere. And so <laughs> I guess the choice lies with you. And within each of us, with every choice that we make, you know, which which way we want to steer that ship if we let it go towards just fucking expedient, soulless, weird corporate fucking disgusting shit. <laughs> or if you use it to create <laughs> something amazing, something really genuinely inspiring and beautiful because that's the thing it's powerful powerful technology it's not inherently good or bad on its own it's the it's the way that we use it <laughs> and whichever way we use it is gonna make a big difference because it's so powerful right it's not just like you're going down this river and they sort of just branch like that it's like your choices will be like <laughs> right it's like this way or that way and the, the difference between them is infinite <laughs> mad it's mad so I guess if you want my opinion and you want my advice as a game developer an experienced designer well that'd be the first thing actually so stop thinking of yourself as a game developer because you're not a game developer you're, <laughs> you're a fucking world creator a world creator you're a creator of worlds a creator of realities and it just happens that you're born into a time where it's limited to computer screens and consoles and things at the moment, but you get to witness the progression of the technology to a point where it's indistinguishable from reality. <laughs> and you get to grow along with that and decide which way that, way that goes. So what a fucking time to be alive, right? <laughs> wow. Wow, that's a lot. So that'd be my first thing, to just be conscious of what's really happening here what it means for you and to think about what you're developing and how you're developing and and I guess what that'll mean is that you'll start to develop in such a way that you'll just be conscious of this new trend and where that's happening and how you can harness it and make good use of it okay I might leave that there I hope that was helpful if it was please leave a like <laughs> I don't like saying this shit, but I have to because it's it's so hard to get traction on YouTube. It's like, it's fucking ridiculous. It's like, I have like fucking over 3,000 subscribers and my videos get like 100 views. It's like, fucking mad. I don't know what to make of it. I don't know what to make of algorithms and things. It's, <laughs> it's, um, it's a weird world, but yeah, hit the like, hit the subscribe and the bell and whatever the shit the fuck. All right, bye. <laughs>